So what's here? What's here? A rook. Rook. <laughs> a rook. The the move will be with the rook. I, I can somehow somehow I feel that. Rook g seven to g three. Rook g eight. G seven to G three. Rook G. We still have Rook H three. Ah, okay. That that works very good. Rook G eight. Rook H three. Take and we take this rook first, and then. So Rook G three. The queen has to move to H six. Yeah. Queen has to move to H six. Then Rook H three. Bishop H five. Uh, some Rook G five. Uh, so far, I don't see a problem. Rook 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 to G five. Yeah. Rook F five. Rook F five. Nothing. Mm, a rook one G three. Uh, Actually, we want to move this rook because when we threaten uh, all this rook h3 or some ideas over the h file, we prefer to have uh, we prefer not to have the rook on g7 because it will be always under the attack. Uh, rook 7 to g4 is possible, but then queen h6 and and what? I like I, I like rook g3, but it, it's too easy just to say that it's just you know it's rook g3. <laughs> Oh, a rook e8. Oh, nice. A rook 7 g3, a rook e8. Rook e8 to target e3. And then we are not scared, we play some king d3. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is that uh, this doesn't work now because rook e3 in the end. So maybe just king d3, bishop e8. Uh, bishop e6. So once again, rook e ah, and then uh, bishop e6. No, but, bishop but still, e6. Uh, rook e3 and you have a... Uh, no, yeah, still, it, we play this, 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 what, what, what? and this. No, 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 wait, wait. Uh, he'll, rook rook uh, h3, he'll take on f5 with a check because we went to d3. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, we will take the bishop on e6. When, when black plays bishop e6, we'll take the bishop on e6. And then there are two lines. If he takes with the rook, it's check on g8, check on g7, win the queen. Yes. Right? If he queen goes after bishop, uh, if he goes queen h7, we have f5. Uh, uh, he takes six, on e6, rook, rook g8, trade everything, and take on e6. And I think we win in both cases. So that, but yeah, but I don't like your approach, Anna. It's like you, you're trying to calculate, you're certainly a chess player. <laughs> and what I would do, I would try, okay, is there any other move than rook g3? No, let's play it. No surprise, rook e8. Then, okay, rook e8, I'm panicking. Oh, I have king d3. I'll play king d3. Then I'll say bishop e6. I'll, I'll, I'll look for a next move. <laughs> it's not very efficient when you play the game because you might as well just blunder and lose. And here, nothing bad can happen. Okay, I mean, wrong um... puzzle, wrong answer, wrong answer. But yeah, but that, uh, honestly, I don't see anything than king d3. Because king d2. Uh, Many people are asking why not king d2. King and actually, d2. it's a good question because after bishop e6, now we can even play uh, rook h3. Yeah, yeah, your line, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, why not king d2? Why not king d2? I don't have check. an answer to this one. Check, check, check just rook. I mean, check, check just Wait rook Wait a second. Rook h3, bishop h3. <gasps> Whoa! King d2 is correct, Can... because yeah, let me tell you something. That's absolutely amazing. King d3, Just... it doesn't work. The line for king d3 is bishop g8. And you look at your opponent, you think, oh, what an idiot I'm playing there. Uh, rook h3, bishop h7. Rook h4, rook e3, a little chuck. And it's a stalemate. Can you imagine? Wow. I mean, it, it's certainly easy to miss in the game. It's, wow. a, it's it's a crazy nice line and then if, if you go kind of crawl backwards he will check you on the second rank yeah so he yeah, will yeah. give you ch check on the e file if you go to d1 then it's always like d2 c2 and so on so so you, you cannot escape it uh, that's incredible yeah no but bishop g8 bishop h7 wow so king d3 can, bishop can you imagine like uh, having such a save in a real game yeah or other way around, like because you're a queen down as white in this position. Something suggests you went for a brilliant attack, you sacrificed the queen, you know, and you played, I don't know, 20 perfect moves in a row. And then one, one mistake and you're no longer winning. But I believe Just... that after king d3, not so many people will find bishop g8 idea. But So that's why that's why king d2 must be played. And we just have to uh... check because still it's, it's just a guess, right? <laughs> It's wrong. <laughs> I played it since it was wrong. Uh, okay, let's but... think about it. I would like to go back to this puzzle because 
Chess.com claims we were wrong, but where we? There was an idea we had in our mind and it was a nice idea, so I decided to check it. And, and please take a look at what has been discovered. So, in this position we made the best move, which is rook 7 to g3, threatening rook h3. Black replied with rook to e8, and here we played king to d2, which was considered like the wrong move, and the correct answer was like king to d3. But, but it's just the beginning. First of all, let me explain you why king to d2 is wrong. So after king to d2, it's obvious white is writing in rook h3. And uh, the only saving move for black in this position is bishop to h5. Now if white continues with rook h3, black goes queen f2 and this comes with a check. And actually after queen f2, black is not only saving the game, but black is winning the game. Though rook h3 is not a uh, force in this position and instead of rook h3 there are many options which are leading to an equal game and the most forcing one is rook 1 to g2. Now we are threatening rook h3 again and there are one, will not be any queen f2 move. So after rook to g2 uh, black has to go queen h1 threatening queen d1 and now white goes rook g1, black goes back to h4 or to h2 and it's just like the repetition of the move, so it's a draw. Let's go back to king d3. So king d3 was considered to be the best move and now if black goes bishop to h5, white wins not with rook h3, which looks very logical, as now there is no check on f2, but after rook h3, black has a very nice saving idea that is rook to e3, and computer claims it's a, it's a draw after rook to e3. Though after bishop h5, there is a very surprising move, which is actually leading to the win, and it's bishop to d7. So first we ask the rook to leave this E file and then we continue with rook to h3. Really very surprising and unexpected, but this is just the beginning. Take a look at what uh, we thought and which idea we had after king to d3. And after king to d3, black has a very nice, a very nice and surprising saving option, and this move is bishop to g8. You will ask me. What? Didn't you say that we were going to play a rook h3 and 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 cannot we play a rook to h3 now? Yes, of course we can. Let's see what happens after rook h3. After rook h3, black goes bishop to h7 and now it's the moment. Now is the moment and we have to understand why we simply can't take the queen and pin the bishop. Seems like white is winning. But take a look at this position. We see that all the pawns are fixed and the king is kind of stalemated. So if black kind of gets rid of this rook, it's a draw because black will have no move. And this uh, makes us think about the saving idea of sacrificing the rook and the idea that actually saves the game. Of course, rook e3 is coming. Now white will go to with the king to c2 or d2 as king e3 is immediately a draw. But after both king c2 or king d2, black goes rook e2 and black continues to stack, sacrifice this rook until white finally takes it and, and, and then it's a draw. So if the king now goes to d3 or c3, we continue with uh, rook 2 e3, while if the king goes to the first rank, like for example king to c1, then, then we play uh, rook c2, king d1, rook d2, and so on, and so on, and it's a draw. I think it's a very astonishing idea and I liked it a lot and I am happy that it actually works. Uh, now I will 
go back to the starting position and uh, show you the computer's evaluation and uh, so that you see where actually the computer starts to understand that sometimes human's brain is quite good. Just please take a look at that. So here I have the position. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it on the screen. And as you can see, a rook 7 to g3 is showing plus 2, which is quite a huge advantage. So a rook g3, a rook e8. Now king d, king d2 is a draw while king, while king d3 is kind of winning. Let's continue. King d3, now we go bishop to g8. Computer says rook to h3 or even e4 is winning. But I will show you the line with e4 and it can also come uh, with a transposition. So e4, after e4 we still go bishop to h7 and now you still white still has to play rook to h3. The same position may arise if we start with rook to h3, bishop to h7 and e4 here. So it's the same position and now the best and the only move is rook to e4. The only but it's enough and after rook to h3 we come to the same position it's rook e3 black continues with the checks. So only after rook h3 computer finally finds this move this idea with a stalemate and after bishop h7 the computer finally shows that it's a draw. So, in fact, both moves king to d2 and king to d3 in this position are leading to a draw. Oh, now the computer even shows that king d2 is a little bit stronger. Well, in fact, it is a draw after both moves. Uh, what have we learned from this puzzle and from this example we have learned that if you have a nice idea do check it again with your engine because because maybe it works especially if the engine is on the lower depth here it's depth 15 and sometimes you have to wait a little bit longer so that to know the real truth have a nice day